when you say something as straightforward as, hey, I'm a coach, very often people have a follow-up question to that. What kind of coach? A football coach? A soccer coach? What are you doing here? And that kind of puts us into this unique position where how do we introduce ourselves? How do we go into a meeting, a setting, an event and introduce ourselves in a powerful way so we can engage in a conversation that may be more meaningful to create clients or at least be able to drive some results for the person that we are speaking with. This problem is commonplace and I encountered the same problem when I started my coaching journey. You see, when I started my coaching journey, coaching was even a newer concept than it is today. And at that time, I didn't know any better way to introduce myself. I would go to events, I would introduce myself as a coach, and I felt like I wasn't really landing anywhere because I would really get these follow-up questions and people would start clarifying what a coach was. And I wasn't able to really present myself in the best of light where I could continue the conversation in the direction where I would end up with a client or I would sign a client or even be able to have a meaningful coaching conversation with a client. And coincidentally, I was sitting at a dinner table and at one of the events and one of the entrepreneurs that was sitting on the table asked an open-ended question. They asked the question, hey, what is everybody struggling with here on this table? And they went around and asked this question. And as I was listening to the answers, I was like, what a beautiful way to start a conversation that would lead and set me up for my perfect introduction. You see, as the entrepreneurs went around, I, I listened carefully and I found that the most common challenge all of these entrepreneurs tended to have were they were all companies that were doing about one to two million dollars in revenue and their biggest challenge was their team. They thought that they were doing all the work. Without them showing up to work, the business wouldn't grow and they were really frustrated with it. And as a business coach, I knew I could solve that problem. And as my introduction came around, before we were presenting our challenges, everybody was introducing themselves. My introduction came around, I said something to this tune. I'm Ajit and I help businesses that are doing one to three million in revenue to build great teams. And then I went about and told the challenge that I was experiencing at that time. As I introduced myself that way, what I found is after the conversation was over, the people on the table that were having that problem of team, which was most of them, continued to have a conversation even when the dinner was over, even when the formal setting of dinner was over. And we ended up getting some drinks together and I ended up enrolling one of those individuals into my coaching program. And that gave me the perfect way a coach should introduce themselves by not saying you're a coach, business coach, life coach, fitness coach, whatever kind of coach you are. None of our clients care what kind of coach we are. For that matter, they don't even care if you're a coach. What our clients really care about is they have a problem and can somebody solve that problem? The secret to introduce ourselves to our client may be hidden in there. You see, what I found after testing again and again and again with different settings and different conversations is that the best way to introduce yourself is to not introduce yourself at all. When you are starting a conversation with someone, Apart from, hey, I'm Ajit, and having a conversation just around life, lean into the idea of finding out what your client's challenges are. So if you're in a business setting, try to say, hey, what's the biggest challenge you're facing right now in life? Or what is it that you're working on in your business? If you are a life coach, ask questions like, what are some of the areas that you're working on or focused on in growth in your life right now? What are some of the areas that feel like a challenge in your life right now? And as you ask these open-ended questions, which doesn't limit what the response might be, what you would hear is opportunity to engage in a dialogue. You see, when we try to find our perfect introduction, we think about how can I present myself best? But you know what the best introductions are? Introductions where people feel that you're resonating with them, that they feel connected to you. And to connect with any person is to relate to their experience of life. So instead of thinking about what will my introduction be or how will I grandly introduce myself so the person is impressed by me, put that ego aside. Think about what is a question I can ask that would help me understand this person a little bit better. And as this person reveals who they are, what their challenges are, what their desires might be, what maybe the areas of work that they're trying to grow in or areas of life they're trying to grow in, now lean into your capability and relate to that experience and create a conversation around it. Here's how it may unfold. Hey, what are the challenges that you're facing in your life right now? Well, currently my relationship is struggling. I feel like we are not really, we're fighting the same fights. It feels like we're not really getting to grow together. You know, most of the couples that are not focused on growth tend to fight the same fights their entire life. That must be really hard what you're experiencing right now. 
Would you be open if you could have a dialogue around this? Most likely at this point, when you have really understood the problem that your client may be experiencing, the challenge your client may be experiencing, or a desire that they may be having, is they would be open to talk about it. And that is the place to introduce your work, introduce your coaching ability, introduce your creativity. Because when you introduce yourself without actually saying you're a coach, what you are introducing is that you can solve that challenge, that you can help fulfill that desire, that you can help this person be better, become better, get what they want in their life. And when you do that, now when you make an offer, now when you say, I'm a life coach, or now when you say, I help people just like you helping problems just like this, you have a greater possibility of a bond and a connection. Find the model that allows you to open a conversation with your potential client and then engage with your client in context of the challenge or desire they may have presented on what you can do for them. Now, as you introduce yourself, you would probably end up booking a discovery session or an introductory session, maybe even your first coaching session, which is why you want to know which is the best structure to follow for your first coaching session. In the next video, I'll show you exactly how to structure your first coaching session. See you in the next video.